Have you ever stared up at the moon and wondered, what's actually up there? We all know about the craters and the dust, but did you know the moon is literally covered with some of the strangest items humanity has ever placed in space, from the scientifically valuable to the utterly bizarre? And in this video, I'm going to reveal five of the weirdest things currently sitting on the lunar surface that most people have absolutely no idea about, and that NASA doesn't typically highlight in their press releases. We're talking about objects that range from the deeply personal to the utterly disgusting, from smuggled contraband to items that prove scientific theories. What's even more fascinating is that these strange lunar artifacts tell us something profound about humanity's relationship with space. And trust me, by the end of this video, you'll never look at the moon the same way again. But before we dive into these lunar oddities, there's something crucial you need to understand about the moon itself. You see, unlike Earth, where weather, erosion and biological processes break down almost everything over time, the moon preserves human artefacts almost perfectly. With no atmosphere to speak of, no wind and no rain, anything we've left on the moon is still up there in nearly the same condition as when it was left behind, creating what scientists call the most expensive archaeological site in the solar system. Imagine you're an astronaut on the Apollo missions. You've travelled hundreds of thousands of miles to reach the moon. You're conducting groundbreaking scientific experiments, and then nature calls. What do you do? Well, for the Apollo astronauts, the answer was simple and gross. They used special bags to collect their waste, and then... They just left them on the moon, all 96 of them. That's right, there are currently 96 bags of human waste sitting on the lunar surface. Urine, feces, vomit, all preserved in the vacuum of space for over 50 years. But here's where it gets really interesting. These bags of waste aren't just disgusting souvenirs of human exploration. They're actually incredible valuable to scientists today. You see, inside those bags are billions of microbes from the astronauts' digestive systems. Microbes that have been exposed to the harsh radiation, the vacuum and temperature extremes of the lunar surface for half a century. And scientists are eager to find out what happened to them. Did they die? Did they mutate? Did they somehow survive? The answers could help us understand how life might survive in the harsh environments of space. That's why some scientists are proposing to retrieve these bags and bring them back to Earth for study. So next time you think your job is tough, just remember someone out there is a scientist who's planning to retrieve and analyse 50-year-old astronaut poop. Imagine being one of the few humans to walk on the moon. What would you bring with you? What would you leave behind? For astronaut Charles Duke, the answer was simple. A, pho a photograph of his family. During the Apollo 16 mission in 1972, Duke placed a plastic wrap photo of himself, his wife, and their two sons on the lunar surface. He even captured a photo of the family photo sitting there on the moon, creating one of the most touching images of space exploration. But here's the thing about the moon. It's an incredibly harsh environment. With no atmosphere to filter the sun's radiation, the lunar surface is bombarded by intense ultraviolet light and solar radiation. The light is so intense that it causes colours to fade rapidly. That means that family photo Duke left behind in 1972 has likely been completely bleached white by now. The image of his family is probably gone, leaving behind just a blank piece of plastic wrapped paper. There's something poetically bittersweet about that, isn't there? A father's tribute to his family, slowly erased by the same sun that allows life to exist on Earth. Yet, even bleached white, that photo remains exactly where Duke placed it. Every human who has walked on the moon has returned to Earth. Every human except one. Eugene Shoemaker was a renowned geologist who trained the Apollo astronauts. He desperately wanted to go to the moon himself, but a medical condition prevented him from becoming an astronaut. After his death in 1997, his dream was finally realised in a way he never expected. 
In 1999, a portion of Shoemaker's ashes was carried to the moon aboard NASA's Lunar Prospector spacecraft. When the mission ended, the spacecraft was intentionally crashed into the lunar surface near the South Pole, making Shoemaker the only human being whose remains rest on another world. The capsule containing his ashes bears an inscription from Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. And when he shall die, take him and cut him out in little stars, and he will make the face of heaven so fine that all the world will be in love with night and pay no worship to the garish sun. Imagine that, a man who spent his life studying the moon, now a permanent part of it. You know what they say, where humans go, sports follow, even to the moon. During the Apollo 14 mission in 1971, Astronaut Alan Shepard pulled off one of the most famous stunts in space exploration history. After completing his scientific studies, Shepard revealed something he had smuggled aboard the spacecraft. The head of a six iron golf club. With NASA's cameras rolling, Shepard attached the club head to the handle of a lunar sample collection tool. Then, in the one sixth gravity of the moon, he took a swing at a golf ball he had also brought along. His first attempt was a miss. Swinging a golf club in a pressurized space boot isn't easy, but his second and third shots connected, sending the golf balls flying across the lunar surface. Shepard later claimed the ball went miles and miles, though in reality, they probably traveled just a few hundred yards. Still, they became the first and only golf balls hit on another world. Those golf balls are still up there, gathering lunar dust. Shepard's impromptu lunar golf game reminds us that even in the most serious scientific expedition, there's room for a bit of humour and humanity. Perhaps the most scientifically significant odd object on the moon is also one of the most delicate, a falcon feather. During the Apollo 15 mission in 1971, astronaut David Scott conducted a now famous experiment. He pulled out a hammer and a falcon feather, then drop them simultaneously on the lunar surface. Back on Earth, we know what would happen. The hammer would hit the ground long before the feather due to air resistance. But on the airless moon, both objects hit the lunar dust at exactly the same moment. This simple demonstration proved Galileo's theory that in a vacuum, all objects fall at the same rate regardless of their mass, a fundamental principle of physics that couldn't be perfectly demonstrated on Earth. What's truly strange is that somewhere on the moon, that delicate falcon feather still remains, perfectly preserved. A fragile bird feather that would decompose within months on Earth. It's still intact on the lunar surface for millions of years. So there you have it. From bags of human waste to mysterious falcon feathers, golf balls and family photos, and even human remains. The, mo the moon is far more than just a barren rock orbiting our planet. It's a museum of both human accomplishment and strangeness, preserved in the vacuum of space. But beyond these curiosities lies an even more fascinating question. Does the moon contain valuable resources that could transform space exploration? Is there actual gold on the moon? And what would it mean for humanity? To find out, click the video on your screen now.